Features for the hearing impaired. Text-to-speech, so let me explain what text-to-speech is and let me explain how you then access it within the Android environment. Text-to-speech is I type something on my device and then I use the device as the voice for my text. For those with hearing impairments, text-to-speech can be a way of interfacing with people who have hearing. It can also be, and we'll get to this in, from the language perspective, but it can also be very useful with those with reading impairments. So I personally have both dyslexia and dysgraphia, and I use text-to-speech on my tablet and my cell phone when I'm having a hard time reading information, I'll use text-to-speech as a reinforcer to reinforce what I'm trying to read to make sure I've got it cr properly. That is what text-to-speech does. It takes text and converts it into audio. The way that you access it within the Android system is through different text-to-speech applications. You can download a text-to-speech application. They're free on the system. You can also pay for them to get you know, nicer voices. But basically, you either type text in or, like for example, in, if you have a web accessibility turned on, you can highlight portions of the text uh, on a web page or use TalkBack to um, take the text that's on, on screen and uh, repeat it back to you. Text-to-speech is the technology. It appears many, many different times within the operating system in different forms, some in application form. The reason why I put it under hearing impairment is if I am a deaf user and I want to speak, I can use an application that, uh, like Talk to type in my text and then have the system speak for me. Or I can turn on um, uh, text, uh, talk back to have the system talk back to me and read back to me the speech, the, the text that's on screen. So that's text-to-speech.